I was going against the you know our best linebacker. I had twisted off my plant knee. So you twist off your plant knee, you're gonna tear something. But when I tried to get back up, I realized that I couldn't, like my knee buckled. My name is Jayon Jones. I graduated from Arsenal Tech in the year 2015. And my family background comes from my mother who died in 2000, my father who ran out, and a grandfather who wasn't really my grandfather, but he was around. I grew up with a single mother most of my life. She would always just read us stories and uh, I remember probably my first story I remember is the Noah Ark and just how it took so many years for him to build an ark and, you know, and how do you have faith over all those years. My name is Brian Parks. I'm, uh, I go to Wabash College. I am a sophomore. I've been involved with Young Life since my junior year of uh, high school and just recently did an internship with them. Growing up, it was uh, very, very rough for me. Me and my family, we, we didn't have much money. And it was just hard, and we was in like a rough environment at the same time. My little brother passing actually ended up being the reason that I almost didn't go to Young Life Camp my freshman year, because his funeral was the day before we boarded the bus to go. My name is Nicole Pittman. I used to go to Tech High School. Now I'm just like working a lot. That entire week, I didn't really leave my house much, and the day of his funeral, I ran into a good friend of mine from a long time ago. His name was Chris, and Chris was also good friends with my brother, so Chris was like, well, Nikki is in a better place now. God loves him. He loved the Lord. And I was like, well, Chris, to be quite frank with you, I don't believe there is a God. And if there is, why kill my little brother? This bald guy that always was interested in my life and I couldn't figure out why at first until he told me that this is what he loves to do because it was his calling by God and like, you know what I'm saying? I never expected anybody to want to do something without getting something back, to want to do something out of the kindness of their heart without no catches and no strings attached. I wasn't raised to even believe that. I'm still not. The Young Life Committee is a bunch of us sitting around a table trying to come up with what we're going to do next, how we're going to raise money to fund all these different things they have going on, how we're going to raise money for the kids to go to camp, um, feed them every Monday night, at least have snacks or something. My name is Linda Ferguson, and I have a son that belongs to Young Life. We moved to about, I think, five houses uh, total in my, in my childhood. and. Uh, we never were really stable, so we were always in and out, like every about four, four, four years on average. My oldest brothers, they, uh, they got introduced to stealing, and um, so me being a, a younger, a younger brother, I always wanted to prove myself. Eventually, I kept caught on to that stealing and things like that to get what we wanted to get, you know, games and and food sometimes and. A year or two into it, I, I got caught and I, I went to juvenile and that's probably one of the scariest days of my life. I just remember there's so many people around, I was just so ashamed and embarrassed of myself and I told myself I would never like, you know, be in that situation again. Something in me that always drove me to like do more. I always had to do more to show my brothers that, you know, I can be among them, you know, I can I can do the things they do. Campaigners is a great place to go if you're seeking a lot of answers. A lot of like deeper discussions that you might not necessarily get at like club because club is such like a huge environment of like this rowdy craziness <laughs> that campaigners is more calm and like collective. It's a Bible study but it's more it's more than that. It's actually a place where we, we come together, we, we fellowship, we, we talk about Jesus, we, 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 we share the go gospel with each other. And uh, it's just a place where we can, where we can just learn, you know. It was like a second home to me, almost. And it was just a place where, you know, I could be myself. The next morning when I woke up, I couldn't get, I didn't want to get up. My knee was more swollen than anything on my body has ever been. Got my MRI and they said I tore two things. It's not my ACL and my MCL. I had to watch the game before, you know, the sectional game started, before all the knockouts started happening. I had to just sit there and watch because I couldn't do anything. This is my senior year, the only year I was ever eligible, and I tore my ACL, basically. I'm like, God, this can't be it. 
Like I only went out there for you, this can't be it, God. That had to be a purpose to that. Couldn't have been what he wanted me to do. If playing football that year was what God wanted me to do, if being on that field was what God had intended, I wouldn't have torn my ACL. I've come to love and trust all of the leaders, like family. So it's not one, but it's just that series of just being there that, I don't know, it's just like something solid that you can hold on to. These aren't people that are just gonna walk in and out of your children's life. It's a young life camp, right? And it was fun. Like, I'm talking about stars in the sky at nighttime, freedom, breakfast, lunch, dinner, we get to sleep, take a warm shower, and just chill, you know what I'm saying? Free from all the things from home, you know what I'm saying? And all those things were nice, all those things were wonderful, but the most important thing to me were the club talks. Because of God, like for instance, I tore my ACL, like, that's not negative. You feel me? Like, it's not negative. It's just a torn ACL, you know? My mother dying, God took her. It's not negative. There's just a reason for it. Young Life relaying the message of hope, I think that's the most important thing that the kids from Tech can, can ever hear because we come from different demographics that, you know, where there is no hope and we have nothing to look forward to. My parents, they never completed college. My oldest brothers, my older brothers, they're not in college, they're in my sister. So me being in college myself, I, it's, it's not supposed to happen. I'm not supposed to be where I'm at, according to statistics, but statistics doesn't matter to God, you know. His plan is already set in stone. I used to always want to follow my, my brothers and always wanted to do the things they did. And I think Young Life, Young Life provided me something else to follow, and, and that's Jesus. And I think that led me to become the, the person I am and not what ultimately like made me into a leader. We have a lot of kids that need it. And but like I said, a lot of times, you know, it's parents also, you know, but if you can just reach a child where he's at and bring him to young life, instill God in his life, let him know that somebody do care. I realized my freshman year, the only thing I paid to go on that trip was the deposit. I did one work day. I know now that that was not enough somebody paid for the rest for me. So I realized without that person who paid the rest for me, I wouldn't have gotten to go. So why not do the same for someone else? If I have five bucks or $10, why not? Chris was right. There is a guy. And had my brother not passed, I may not have ever been in a vulnerable enough state to go looking for answers, to seek something else, something deeper, or to be willing to accept the answers I was given. Young life is like the ride. It's the transportation. Young life is the way in between you and Christ and community and love. Now that I've graduated and you know my two years of camp is over and my you know the talks are probably done for me. Like I'm going into being a leader now, so I'm trying to do training because I feel like that after those times I realized that I have another talent that I didn't know about, and that's like speaking to teenagers and speaking to people in general about you know ministry and about God and what He does for you and your promises. Like I'm good at telling people things to lift people up.